Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. What I am about to show you is something that happens when you put too much confidence in man. These people had a total meltdown when Kamala lost the election. And the way they are responding is ridiculous. They are responding like people who thought that this woman was going to single-handedly save their lives. People around the world are just messed up, y'all, because they think that their salvation, their quality of life, their lifestyle, their existence, they believe that their existence is hinged upon these people. This is what happens when the whole world turns away from the Most High and act like they don't even know who he is. This is what happens. Anyway, take a look at these meltdowns. I'm pretty sure more are going to bubble to the surface, but look at these. And of course, you know, I will be right back. I can't believe Trump's actually gonna win this day. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm so pissed off. God damn it. She loves me. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you? I will make it my life's mission, my dying wish, that none of you weirdos can hide in the future. You can't lie to your kids. You can't lie to your grandkids about, oh, it was it was so confusing. It was hard to see the truth. It, he was so convincing. I will not let you get away with that. <laughs> like, that was not normal. This is not normal. I will make it clear to everyone. Like, I will make sure no one is confused about how things were right now in this very vital, crucial time in American history that it was not confusing. It was not confusing at all. You just stood for that. You stood with that and for that. Like, I, I can't emphasize enough there will be nowhere to hide. And history is going to look back on this and look back on you in a very negative light. Trump supporters, like, why? <laughs> why are y'all Trump supporters? Like, why is this a thing right now? Why is this okay? Uh, I, I can't do this no more. I should have kept my vote to myself because I knew it didn't f***ing matter. All right, guys, it's time to go to bed. <laughs> None of us are stressed about the election, right? It's all, if we all are gonna just go have the best night, the best night's sleep of our lives, aren't we? If this guy does end up winning again, all of the people who voted for him will be like happy and they'll just be celebrating. And everyone else, everyone who feels threatened by him is fucking scared. Like we're we're scared for our lives we're scared for our friends like you have pro-life women dying because their their doctors are scared to treat them because of the repercussions of his last presidency how did we get here how did we get here to know that there is that much ignorance and that much hate in this country it's so terrifying it's so terrifying. How could you do this? How can you claim to be a Christian or anyone of moral values and support someone 
when every word out of his mouth is hate, when he wants to pardon people who took over the capital. Do not do this to people that you love and care about. If you have a woman in your life, if you have an LGBTQ person in your life, if you have anyone in your life who's not white, how did we get here? Someone tell me, please. Someone really tell me, please. Because the only way I see it is that, like, either he cheated and that was his secret, or this country is built on so much hate and we might never get out of this. If you voted for him, you are dead to me. Go ahead and block me. I don't give a shit. I really don't. I really don't. Is anyone else helping a meltdown? I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to wait. I'm so stressed. How you can't look out into the world, into the people of this country and see what's happening. And how hard we're all fighting for rights not to be taken away what? from people. I go from hysterically crying one minute over the pain of this situation oh. and then hysterically crying the next minute watching so many people come together and women from around the world supporting us and cheering us on. I am 48 years old and I have never experienced anything like this and never thought I would in this country. It's like... It's like I can feel the pain and the fear from every single person. I don't know how to handle this. I don't know how to get through the next couple days. I, who knows how long this is going to take. Here's what gets me. Nice hat, bro. He literally said Idiot. he'll be a dictator on day one. <laughs> Well, Donald Trump is now our 47th president of the mm -hmm. United States of America. This election was not even close. Nope. Which I find odd considering Kamala Harris's rallies. However, how can that compete when you have Elon Musk paying a million dollars per day to encourage people to vote for Donald Trump? Personally, I'm disgusted by that. I'm disgusted enough to delete my ex account. I'm disgusted enough to never order a Tesla as long as I shall live. I want to take this moment to congratulate those of you who voted for Donald Trump, which was the overwhelming majority of Americans. You chose to vote for a dictatorship, and that is what you will get. America is no longer the land of the free. You have chosen by siding with Donald Trump to throw our United States Constitution and our United States flag in the garbage. Personally, I am embarrassed. I am ashamed to call myself an American. In fact, I no longer call myself an American. I feel so alone when it comes to my family. And I don't know what to do about it. I feel so alone. I don't feel seen. I don't know. I'm just not having a really good feeling about this, you guys. And I just want to know what the backup plan is, because surely Joe Biden, somebody surely thought they should come up with some sort of plan if he did win. So I just want to know what the backup plan is, because you just went a whole year scaring the hell out of me about Project 2025. And now it's about to happen? And you just think we're all just supposed to fucking go to work now? What's the fucking plan? <laughs> Knowing that I woke up, <laughs> bitch, it's not about a fucking book. <laughs> Fuck that shit right now. <laughs> Knowing that I went to bed. Yeah. That... Woo! <laughs> That fucking man was ahead a little bit, but waking up to this man, literally, you're, you're four points a fucking way, not only shows me how racist, which, hello, wake up, you black, you're aware of that, and not only shows me how racist this country is, misogynistic, y'all... <laughs> 
we're at the point where I'm convinced y'all do not want to get here. Y'all had y'all glory fucking days in the back. Y'all hate to see a black, a Latino, anybody that's an LGBTQ plus, a woman being happy doing shit on her fucking own. Cause to wake up and seeing it being that close, and I'm seeing comments where people are like, I'm in another country, I don't know how this is happening. Wake up! This is fucking America, and this is sad. And every fucking body, any person that I still follow that has voted for him, I'm not even gonna say what my thoughts is, but trust I will be acting on my thoughts. <laughs> And I know this, I might lose some brand deals for what I'm about to say. <laughs> but every black person that I've ever seen that said I'm for Trump in this current state, every Latino, every non white male, let's keep it what it is. We were wrong. <laughs> it's an utter betrayal. Okay, just know this. You have successfully dumbed down a population when you can get the kind of reactions that we just saw here. Because these people thought that their freedom, their livelihood, their existence was hinged on Kamala Harris becoming the president. So do you no longer exist because she's not the president? Is your livelihood going to be flushed down the toilet because of her? Regardless to whether it's her or Trump, everyone is responsible for doing what they have to do for their own lives. And when I see people responding this way, I know for a certainty that America has successfully dumbed down its population because now there seems to be a complete and total dependency on government. Even back in the prairie days, the people knew that they had to provide for themselves or they had to do whatever it took so that there was food on the table, so that the livestock had pastures to feed in, so that they were and they had shelter in the winter and from the rain. But right now, it seems like there is a total dependency on government, government policies, uh, governments, government actions or inactions. It seems like everyone depends on whatever the government approves. You even have the USDA. Uh, government, do you approve of what we eat? Is this okay to drink? A complete and total dependency. This is why these people are melting down like this because Kamala lost. Mm, mm, mm. I kind of sort of, but not really, feel sorry for some of them. Kind of sort of, but not really. Because to act like this because this woman lost. You really thought you were that close to her to where anything she does in the White House was going to directly affect your life. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. All right, y'all. I am done. I'm done with this. I'm done with this. These poor people. If they only knew. We keep trying to tell, show the truth, reveal the truth from a biblical standpoint, but everyone thinks that from a government standpoint that it's better. Well, trust and believe in the Most High has his way in the earth in which he already is. When he starts doing things that you will know for sure that's him. Even the governments are going to have to take notice. Okay. Anyway, you all can leave your comments in the comment section below. As always, keep it tight. Keep it right. But until the next live or the next video, keep your head on a spiritual and natural swivel. And definitely stay prayed up. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share it like this video, and with that, we're out.
Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.